Greetings, guys, from Toronto. Hello. Hi, Bonnie. Great to see you. Uh, personally, just got to start off by thanking you both so much for adapting one of my absolutely favorite books into this beautiful series. So thank you for that. Um, Stephen, I want to start with you because let's just go there. Taking Anthony's book, how big it was. I mean, how daunting was it for you to take it and write this beautiful series? Yeah, I, I think the, um, you know, one must remember that the best works of art should be the ones that are adapted. Otherwise, you know, if you were if you were afraid of that, then only mediocre novels will ever be adapted. This is this is a Pulitzer Prize winning novel, so obviously it comes yes. with trepidation and caution. But I felt that what I had to do was because I'd read the book not with a view to adapt it to begin with, so I was already a fan of the book. And then when the invitation came, I thought, well, I should not be shy of this. I should not be afraid of this. So. Um, you then have to give your impression of what the book is, um, use the book, um, have the book always to help you. It's always living in your imagination. And then express what you think the book is saying and what it means. And it helped because the book is about timeless and universal human emotions, about darkness and light. And so anyone who is human has a connection to where this thing came from. And that's what I wanted to do, is go back to the source of what this is about. And it's about two people. The war is a storm. They're both seeking shelter from the storm together. Uh, yeah, and, and Sean, um, a boy, you know, with what's going on in the world right now, can people learn from this? I can tell you that, that's for sure. But I wanted to ask you about casting because um, Aria, she's just a revelation. She's absolutely phenomenal in this. I had no idea she had never acted before. I mean, come on, how nervous were you bringing her on? And I wanna know what you learned from her. Well, I knew when I cast her that it would be a process. I, it was clear from her first audition she was special, but it was also clear she had no idea what she was doing. So there were times early on in the production where like sometimes she wouldn't get it right. But the blessing for me was that Aria had said to me up front, I want to be great. So you need to be honest with me and help me be great. And so when an actor, when a collaborator invites that level of candor, uh, it creates a real intimacy and a real partnership. And it was that partnership. And I watched her grow day by day. But what's also true of a great partnership is that it's reciprocal. And what I learned from her was also daily because every day we would be rehearsing a scene or staging a scene and Aria would say, well, that's not how I would do that. I don't need to feel for that couch because I'm in my own home and I live alone. So no one left any items in front of my walk path. Little details of how life is navigated without sight that are bedrock for Aria, but new to me, I would just listen and I would apply what Aria taught me to the behavior and the gestures of the character. And so it's why I thought it was so important. And we have therefore a show that has authenticity around blindness in a way that no show and movie have, because we've never seen a lead protagonist performance cast with someone who is blind as they represent blindness. Yeah, and Stephen, just you know, to wrap it up, what did you learn from working with this beautiful actress as well? It, it, it was quite phenomenal it, that I was still writing when uh, we were seeing some of the stuff that she was doing. And what she did was never invite sympathy, ever. You know, never suggesting that this life that she was living was somehow... Um, uh, inferior to a, to a life lived with sight. And she's so strong, she's so robust, that that's what made me think that the character now is alive. She brought that character to life. Yeah, well, thank you both for bringing this great story again to life. It's just magnificent. I really appreciate it. And thank you both for your time today. Really thank, you. thank you. Thank you.